to this now. The Competition Commission has raised concerns that food prices remain unaffordable for minimum wage households despite easing price pressures and declining fuel costs. Their latest Essential Food Price Monitoring report indicates that basic food prices are not decreasing as expected. The situation raises alarms about food insecurity among many South Africans. Now, notably, egg prices continue to be significantly elevated compared to pre-avian flu levels in 2023, even though production costs have dropped by approximately 15% from November 2023 to March 2024. Economist Professor Walter Krichel weighs in on the matter. Economists know that prices are downward sticky. Prices go up easily, but don't just fall again. There are various reasons for this. Sometimes companies use the breathing space created by lower costs and high prices to restore their balance sheets. Other times, it's simply a case that it takes time for prices to change. Wandili Silobu says that it takes three to six months for price changes in agricultural commodities to filter through to retail trade. These price changes need to work through the whole food system. The Commission calculates the retail margin as the difference between the retail price and the producer price divided by the retail price. In the case of white bread, brown bread, sunflower oil and wheat, the producer prices are the suffix prices. And we'll all agree that a lot happens to wheat between the suffix price and the price of a loaf of bread on the shelf at Pick and Pay.